Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use Vertcoin. So uh, let's get going. So uh, today I'm going to talk about Vertcoin. It's a uh, it's another cryptocurrency, a decentralized cryptocurrency, been around for a while, and uh, I try to cover different different cryptocurrencies to kind of give you an insight as to how they work, uh, how you go about getting some, storing it, spending it, that kind of thing. So uh, today I'm going to do Vertcoin. So if you're interested in Vertcoin, I encourage you to join me on our journey. So uh, let's go over to the uh, big screen here. All right. So uh, Vertcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency, very similar to Bitcoin. It has its own blockchain. So it is not an ERC-20 token. So let's take a look at uh, Vertcoin on the uh, coin market cap. Its rank uh, is 166. So it's not really in the top 10 or anything, but it has been around a while. It was created in 2014. It is ASIC resistant, which means that uh, these high powered uh, mining rigs that are built, uh, specialized built mining rigs, uh, uh, can't mine it. They want to make it so that anyone with uh, a decent graphics card can mine Vertcoin profitably. Okay, why don't we check out how we can mine Vertcoin? Uh, now there are a couple of different ways to do this. Uh, they have a uh, a one-click miner. Okay, uh, the one-click miner. Um, I've tried it. I'm not that happy with it, uh, but you're welcome to use it. It's very simple to use. I don't think I was able to get it to work right, I guess. I think that was the problem that I had, uh, or it wasn't very effective. Uh, but it's it's available. Uh, it's not uh, difficult to use. They've got a little guide here. Teach you how to uh, set up the uh, Vertcoin miner. The one, the, the, the miner. <laughs> the one-click miner, they call it. Funny how they have to have a step-by-step -step instruction for a one, uh, uh, so-called one-click miner. <laughs> it takes a little bit more than one click to set it up. So I'll leave that one as an exercise. If you're interested in doing that, what I'm going to show you how to do is uh, a little more advanced, but I feel it's a little more effective, uh, and I like it a little better. Okay, so I'm going to go to a little website called Yimp. Dot eu and on yimp.eu uh, you can mine uh, several types of coins and they give you uh, information about each coin uh, the algorithm the port uh, the type of coin it is how many people are mining it the hash rate that kind of stuff uh, you know if you're into that th kind of thing I'm just going to give you the how-to to get your th your yourself going here. Uh, now I have a Nvidia card, and uh, I believe that I don't believe you can mine on YIMP with a Radeon card, AMD card. Um, there may be ways around that. All right. So here is the uh, the meat of what we're about to do. Okay, we need to configure this option for the uh, mining software that we're going to use. So uh, the first thing we'll do is get the miner software. So uh, CC Miner is the software that I'm using. So uh, I'll show you how to get CC Miner. Basically, you can just search for it. All right, so if you look up CC Miner, uh, you want to go over here to their GitHub site, and you can see the latest version of the CC Miner here. You'll want to grab the uh, Windows 64 version of the CC Miner. So uh, we're just going to click that, and I'm going to drop this guy on my desktop. 
and uh, hold on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, we might have to go through a little bit of uh, jump through some hoops here. I'll see if it happens. Okay. Ah, uh, ah. Okay. So here is the first hurdle that some of you may need to jump. You'll notice that this uh, icon is just like generic. Okay. Uh, so it's not going to open up with WinZip, and it won't open if you just double click it. You need 7-Zip to open this archive file. It won't open with WinZip or uh, Windows, uh, native Windows. Uh, so let me give you that. All right, that is uh, WinZip. Or oh, I'm sorry, 7-Z, pardon me, 7-Z. Uh, I highly recommend 7-Z. It is uh, free, open source. Uh, really good decompression software. All right, so I'll put the uh, address in the description below. You'll want that if you don't already have it. Some people use it uh, as a matter of course. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose 7Z because I have it installed on my computer. It's a snap to install. I'm going to extract it to a folder that is the exact name as the file. So let's see if anything happens. Huh. Okay. So it got past my virus at this point, and I believe that I may maybe because I've already uh, uh, added it to my exclusion list. But a lot of you may experience as soon as you do this decompression, you'll get a virus alert, and then you'll say to yourself, "Oh my gosh, I just downloaded a virus." Well, you didn't, and you did. See, the problem with uh, cryptocurrency mining software is a lot of people install miners uh, serendipitously on other people's computers to mine cryptocurrency. So most malware checkers and virus protection software treat it as malware. So I know what I just downloaded and I want to mine cryptocurrency with it, but my virus protection will many times just flag it and say, uh-uh. I'm not going to let you run this software. <laughs> so you might have to deal with that. Now, uh, it didn't happen to me now, uh, but let's see if I do this. Will it? Uh, let's see if I get a virus alert when I do that. There you go. That's the one I was looking for. Okay, so my Malwarebytes Premium just told me, hey, you just tried to run virus software. And you'll notice here that it just disappeared from the folder. So what do we have to do? We need to go over to here to view quarantine. And it's going to launch the malware software. And here it is. Let's see if we can take a look at it here. That's the one that I just ran, right? Uh, it's a big, it's a minor, my gosh, it must be bad, right? So I'm going to restore it. Yes right and I also need to make sure that I add it to my exclusion list because if I try to run it again it's just gonna happen again alright so uh, let's do that so let's go over here to uh, settings and we'll go to this tab here where it says exclusions and uh, I'm gonna add a new exclusion right it's gonna be a file or a folder and it wants me to specify so I just go to select files all right and it's on my desktop right now let's go over here to CC minor and click open on the file see that nice green file there and now it's been added to my exclusion list which means that it will no longer treat it as suspicious because I've told it that it is not and that I want to run it now your it may be different for you, okay? It may, uh, you may be running Norton, you may be running ESET, you may be running uh, McAfee, whatever. Uh, it may be Windows Defender will tell you that it's a virus. So uh, in all of those cases, uh, you might have to, sometimes Windows Defender will just ask you, are you really want to do this? And you tell it yes, and it uh, automatically adds it. Some other uh, virus protection malware programs have their own interface. You, uh, you know, I'm gonna, we're all adults here, so I'm gonna 
leave that up to you. But I just wanted to warn you ahead of time that when you run mining software, your computer treats it as a virus, even though it's not. Okay, so don't panic when you see that, that window pop up that tells you this is a virus because it acts like a virus, okay? If you wanna mine, you're gonna have to get used to the idea that you're running software that, that many people consider a virus, okay? So enough about that. So we got our miner downloaded. We got our miner software downloaded. Now we need to configure it. So let's say if I just double click this puppy and try to run it, you know, there's nothing going on here. I haven't configured it to do anything. I haven't configured it to connect to anything. So it's not going to do anything. I need to uh, configure it. So uh, we, it, it, they, uh, <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, whatever. They have provided uh, me with uh, some sample bat files. Uh, a, a bat file is a configuration file. Okay. Uh, I hope this isn't too technical for you, but it's not. It's don't be afraid. It's not that bad, actually. So uh, this is a bat file. Uh, I want to open this guy up, and I want to edit it. Right. Now, we see this uh, little uh, configuration file right here. And where have we seen that before? Well, we saw it on the YIMP website. So we go back over here to the home, and here's that file right here, right? This is uh, what we want. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to check, whoops, I'm going to check my uh, Bittrex and see if we've got, ooh, we're close. We're very close to getting our Litecoin in our Bittrex account. <laughs> All right, so let's go back over here uh, to our miner. Now, uh, how are we going to configure this guy? All right, so let's take a look. All right, so basically what we want to do is uh, this is our template, but we want to mine Vertcoin. So uh, we'll just go over here. So uh, we'll look at our coins here. So if we want to mine VTC, uh, we need the algorithm, which is Lyra2v2. I can see here uh, XR16 is the current algorithm that's being used. I want this to be Lyra. So L-Y-R-A. All right, let's double check that again. So L-Y-R-A2v2, all right? And this stuff can stay the same. Uh, but we also want the right port. So let's check the port for VTC, which is 4533. So we're going to put that in there. Oops. All right. Now, the only thing that's missing here, we're going to leave all this stuff the same, is uh, there's another little switch that we're going to need, which is the wallet address. So we put the U before there, and then the wallet address after. So I'm going to need to get that in there somewhere. So uh, I see the U is in there, and then they have this benchmark over here. I'm, I'm going to replace benchmark with the wallet address of the wallet. That I'm so what is the wallet address that we're going to use? Well, let's go over here to our Vertcoin wallet, and we're going to request payment, and uh, it's going to be this address. I can copy the address into my clipboard, go back up here, and replace this benchmark with the address of the wallet. And there it is. Okay, now we're going to want to save this. We can close and save this. All right, and then let's take a look here. So we've got this, you know, they even tell you this is the YIMP uh, algorithm. And uh, let's just take a look at it one more time. We got our CC miner software running at the X64 version. We've got the right uh, algorithm for Vertcoin, Lyra 2v2. Uh, we've got the right address of the server itself and the right port. We've got the address of our wallet here, and then these were the suggested switches uh, from the, the CC Miner software that we downloaded. 
So we're ready to just run this guy and see see what happens. So uh, you watch here. Uh, so it set Lyra. It no, it found my uh, GPU. Uh, let's see where it says it there. GPU zero. I have an NVIDIA GPU. There it is. So it sees that I'm running a GTX 1080. And there it is. It's just mining away. Okay. So the way this works is uh, we run this from the bat file. We launch it. We let it mine for a while. And, uh, you know, be patient. I think the, the first, when you first start mining on there, uh, it takes about six hours for them to start paying you out. But, but they will. Uh, they'll start paying you out uh, to that wallet address. And when you run your wallet, you'll see that uh, there are little transactions coming in over time. Now, I changed this to, uh, I named it New Miner uh, because I created a specific address in my other wallet. I don't know. Whoops. Doggone it. Pooies. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm having some trouble here with my mouse because the miner is uh, sort of uh, taking up resources. So I am going to go ahead. And the reason that is, is because I'm right in the middle of recording a video. So you don't want to run your miner while you're doing something processor intensive. All right. So let's go back over here. Let's launch the wallet again. So uh, that's uh, how you set up a miner, and you'll uh, be sending it to the address of the wallet. And uh, so your graphic card will mine on their server. Uh, you're part of a pool, a uh, mining pool. So when the mining pool, which is composed of multiple miners, uh, finds a, a new block, you'll, be, you'll split the reward with the other miners in the pool. So you'll... Uh, it's uh, much more uh, reliable than solo mining. If you solo mine, you may or may not discover a new block and you'll have wasted a lot of resources. When you pool mine, uh, every bit of processing power that you uh, contribute to the pool, uh, you'll get rewarded for. So, so that's mining uh, Vertcoin. Before I sign off, I would like to add that I have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Call it the Q&A from LA. I, enjoy, I uh, encourage you to join. Uh, and if you have specific questions about Vertcoin, Stellar, Bitcoin, Ethereum, the Ledger Nano S, installing wallets, whatever uh, your question may be, if you have a specific question and want to get a uh, a one-on-one -on -one answer from me join my live stream uh, I encourage you to join and jump in and uh, hope to see you there so I hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video be sure and leave me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe to my channel I would appreciate it when you subscribe there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post a new video once again thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon